get on. Right, look. Well, he don't like all this attention. He, I'm like, and you, she like, okay. <laughs> nah. Okay. When you come in, okay. your door, head pad is secure, not crack broken or missing. Camera is secure, not crack broken or missing. We got three pieces of identification. The insurance should be training. current. By the time we're done training, you're going to have all the buses up to date. I know. <laughs> Registration. Huh. I'm, I'm going to need uh, that video. Registration is current up to date. It takes me a long time to write, too. And for the safety lane, you're looking at a fly date, 716, 716. That's current. See, Westway is different. They have accident reports in there. So Grand Prairie, we don't have accident reports in ours. If you get in an accident, when they, when, they, when whoever comes out, they bring it to you. Oh, okay. Uh, your lettering and stickers on your bulkhead are intact, not peeling or missing. Hard drive is secure, not crack broken or missing. Two-way radio is secure, not crack broken or missing. Sun visor is intact, not crack broken or missing. Defrost fans are secure, not crack broken or missing. The front window is intact, not crack broken or missing. The rubber seal around the front window is intact, not dry rotted, filling or missing. Wiper blades are flush to the window, they're not dry rotted, filling or missing. Safety lane sticker, the year and month are current and up to date. Your bus mileage should not exceed the mileage on your sticker. You get that done every six months, 10,000 miles, whichever one comes first. Driver window closes and opens freely. Your driver windows are intact, not crack broken or missing. Rubber seal around them is intact, not dry rotted. Pillars are missing. Fire extinguisher is secure. Damn, that thing dusty. Fire extinguisher is secure. Fully charged and in the green. It should have a pin in there and it should have a tag that's current and up to date. As you see, majority of these fire extinguishers don't have tags, but test purposes, those are the four things that you need to say. Okay. Okay. Trash can, secure. No more than half full. Reflective triangles, you should have three of them. They're intact, not crack broken or missing. Um, next, we got your seat. It's secure. Seat belt moves freely, you're not afraid. It's secure. Next, you want to look at your side mirrors and crossover mirrors. They're all intact, not crack broken or missing. The rubber seal around your side mirrors and crossover mirrors are intact, not dry rotted, peeling or missing. Okay. Next, you want to do a foot sweep under your braking accelerator, making sure it's free of debris. You want to run your foot across the top of your braking your accelerator, making sure that the pedals are encased in rubber. It's not peeling or missing. Next, you want to do your hydraulic brake test. You're going to pump the brake three times. On the third time, hold for five seconds. The brake shouldn't go all the way to the floor, and you shouldn't feel any resistance. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Hydraulic brake test is good. Next, you're going to wake your bus. Close your door. We're going to leave it open until it's hot. You're waiting for all your lights to go off. The only light that should be on is your park brake light. ABS light stays on sometimes a little bit longer, but if it stays on, that means there's something wrong with your brakes. Next, you're going to do the neutral safety switch test. That's your second test. 
meaning you're gonna try to start the bus in every gear except for neutral and it shouldn't start. So reverse, don't start, drive, don't start, four, two, one, neutral. Okay. Now that we done that. start with your switches master flashes now I can show you in this one because the other one had those half mirrors so so if you get to pull to a stop and you get ready to pick up kids and you're hitting your lights and you see they're not coming on always check over here because this switch this master flash switch controls your eight waves so you hit that switch now they're on okay so master switch is on Noise kill works because it cut the radio off. Strobe light, rear dome lights, and front dome lights. You can just cut those on. We don't talk about them right now. Driver dome light works. Boost pump. You use that in the winter. It helps heat the bus up. Once the bus starts getting warm, you cut that off. Heated mirrors works because the red light is on, but that don't necessarily mean that you have it. Service door, open and close, it works. Your rear heat, low, high. Defrost fan, low, high. Stairwell heater, low, high. Driver heater, low, high. Defrost fan, low, high. Radio check, 912 radio check. Uh, for Westway buses, you won't hear that beat. It just oh okay yeah, that because they still on the old radio. So with theirs, you just hold it down and talk. Oh okay. With ours, they're the only ones you gotta wait for that second beat to hear them talk. Okay, so now we did that. Now we're gonna come to the gauges. Water should be no higher than two ten. Oil pressure minimum twenty five. Highest should be fifty. Volts should be 12 in between 12 and 14. If it's under 12, don't cut the bus off. Call maintenance, follow the instructions. If it's above 14, that means the batteries are overcharging. Shut the bus off, call maintenance, follow the instructions. Fuel in the summer, no less than one half. In the winter, no less than three fourths. 129, 181 does not exceed the sticker mileage, which is 136. Okay. Okay, so next, at this point, now you're gonna ask Rhonda. Rhonda, can you go, can you step out front and assist me with my light check? So she'll go out front, headlights, high beams, they come back off, left signal, right signal, hazards. She's gonna walk down the side of your bus, now she's in the back, left signal, Right signal, hazards, brakes. And then you leave your hazards on at this time. Okay. Um, next, you're going to walk, get back on the bus, do all that. Now you're going to test your wipers. You just go straight to low and high. So low, high, cut them off, push it in, check your fluid. Steering wheel. Moves freely, no more than two inches of play. Your horn works. Okay. Next, you're gonna do your third test, which is your park brake test. So your park brake is already on. Left foot cover over the brake. Bus and drive. You're gonna take the RPMs in between 12 and 15. Park brake test is good. The bus didn't move. Okay. Um, next. You're going to do your final test, which is your service brake test. So your service brake test, you put the bus in reverse, release the brake, throw twice, you're going to go back five to ten feet, apply your service brake, the bus should stop, and it shouldn't go left or right. And then you just pull back up 
to your spot if you pull it in. Okay? So now you'll let her know at this time this completes the cab portion of the test. Now I'm going to do the passenger school bus portion. 